Hey guys. Um, so I don't even know. It's Thursday. Um, it is, I think like five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I wanted to pick up the camera and start a vlog and I know it's like super late. I've never started a vlog this late in the day. Normally I start them in the morning, but I'm starting one because we are about to run to the store and stock up on supplies. So I'm officially getting freaked out. Honestly, for a while now, I have not given it really a second thought about what's going on and like this whole virus thing and the like worldwide panic that we've got going on. Um, my mirror is like so dirty. So let me just like swap the camera, but really quick, I wanted to show you guys like my hair cause I just threw it up and I have not even brushed it in maybe like two days, but I like pinned it up in this cute little clip and I think it's adorable. Like this, I think is one of my new go-to styles. Like I know that it's really messy, but it works for like a mob life. You know, when I only had two seconds to do this and I wasn't planning on leaving the house and now I have to. So I don't know. I just think it works because I've always struggled with my hair and especially since it's like so greasy. But um, I think it's cute. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. But anyway, we are about to go to the store. As soon as my husband gets home, we're going to go and get like some supplies. I just got really freaked out today with everything that's going on. Um, I got noticed that the schools are closed now. Um, it's been spring break all week, but he was supposed to go back to school on Monday. And um, now the schools are closed down because of the virus. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Like I'm starting to get a little bit more worried. And like, I wasn't not worried. Like obviously I care about my kids and I worry about them, but I also have a lot of faith in the Lord. And so I know that we're gonna be okay. Um, so the virus isn't what scares me. Like, yeah, I don't want my baby to get it, but I'm not scared of the virus. I'm scared of the world and the way that everyone is acting about it. Um, I'm scared that we're going to be quarantined and that we're going to be like shut down and I'm not going to have the things that I need for my family. So I don't want my kids to go without, we need soap, we need toilet paper, we need, um, food. My dogs need food, you know, things like that. So I've got a lot of mouths to feed in this family. So that is what we're gonna do tonight. So yeah, I just want to get the essentials, um, things that we absolutely need. Um, there's always ways to go around not needing things, like um, even though we really need diapers, obviously it's not the end of the world. If we did run out, I can make it work. I could wrap him in things, I could put him in the tub. Like this is if things get that bad. I'm thinking of the absolute worst so that I can prepare my family for anything that gets thrown at us, for anything that we might have to deal with. So I'm not trying to go and buy out all of the toilet paper or buy out everything that everyone else needs too. I literally just want to get the things that we absolutely will need. Like we have dehydrated food already for, um, you know, in case of an emergency because um, we had a natural disaster. We had a big earthquake about a year and a half ago. And so ever since then we have been stocked up on food um, just in case. So we have like a long, we have months and months worth of that, but that's obviously for last resort. It is like cans of dehydrated food. So it's probably not very good. I don't know. Um, so I don't obviously want to have to eat that if we're just quarantined for say a month or so. So I'd like to get like some other canned foods, some frozen veggies, some frozen chicken, things like that, that won't go bad for a while and will last us if we get quarantined. So also my dogs need food. That is obviously a must um, and just like we should, I wanna just make sure we have like soap, like a case of toilet paper, a case of, an extra case of diapers, um, just things that we will absolutely need. Yeah, I have seen it. I'm filming you. Because you're so hot. Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? Mm -hmm. Got the thrift shop in this bitch. Hopefully, we got some toilet paper. 
having a barber, going thrift shopping with daddy and mama. <laughs> too bad these aren't my size to going to work. Yeah, you look good in them too. Shit, that's how you get hit on on the job site. <laughs> how to rock climb, that's something you want to learn from a book. <laughs> <laughs> Success with house plants. I need this. <laughs> I don't know how they would even organize any kind of Christian books. That's oh, a book for me. None of them are very attractive, though, like you want. I'm just looking for something like unique or like a book about maybe like even This one's called Morning and Evening Prayer. Thursday Evening Prayer. There's a new American Bible over here. This looks cool. Not this one has somebody's movie. name on it. Katherine Thompson. Sounds Katrina familiar. Thompson. Oh, Katrina. I didn't really read it. Hello Those are... with God. Ooh, this looks pretty. Oh, look at that. You look pretty. Thanks, baby. Pictures of Haley Saturday basket <laughs> shopping. Don't narrate, please. <laughs> she found please. this wild basket, plucked it's it from so its cute. home, and is considering adopting it. Will she get a basket, ladies and gentlemen? Stay tuned. Look at all these baskets. Look at all these chickens. I do think you made a muscle, yes. Damn right. I'm all muscle right now. <laughs> oh shit, now I'm being filmed, but Don't flex. Cuss. <laughs> Sorry, all my only my table muscle flex. Oh, you want a This is so nice. I'm so excited. She made coffee. Let's have coffee right now. Sure it's literally that. like what, nine o'clock, but I don't even care. Hi guys, it is the next day. Um, it's like the afternoon. I'm so, so tired. This morning we went to Malachi's dentist appointment and then I went to the store um, to just kind of continue getting some of the essentials. Gosh, my bread got like smashed. Um, wow. So nowhere has any toilet paper. Like everyone literally bought all of it. Um, there's none, so I couldn't get any of that, but I finally did find some baby wipes, which yesterday we did not, like, we couldn't find any, so it was crazy, but I just went and got some things, like, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm not very good at this, but I just got things that we would typically use, and then a couple of things that, like, we don't use, but we could use in the state of an emergency, like some spam. I don't personally think this is the greatest, but it's good to, like, store in the pantry and just kind of have to eat in case we run out of food type of thing. So I got some of that. I also got a lot of other canned foods. Some bags, cause we just needed them. Um, I'll just lay everything out and then do a little haul. 
All right, so I got quite a bit of stuff. So to start with, I got our protein bars. We're really big on like protein bars and breakfast bars and things like that. So I got these um, chocolates, just special K bars. We love these. I got two boxes of those. I got these blueberry um, Velveeta cookies. They're really good. Um, some bars for Kai too, three different flavors because they were like three for, um, I don't know, like $5 or something. I got some more of the Annie's Organic um, Mac and Cheese because um, all three of us really liked that. So I got some almond milk. I ended up getting two different kinds. One's like the unsweet vanilla and one's original. Um, just to stock up, I also got a third one, which is in the fridge. Um, I got some pastaronis, two of these. Some um, rice, another kind, these peanut butter and cheese crackers, some cookies, more granola bars. I got these Pop-Tart Bites for Kai because he really likes those. Some oatmeal. I got two different kinds. I got Spam for emergency food, tuna, heavy cream. Um, I got these apple sauces. Some spaghetti sauce, brownies. Um, I got some cans of chicken also just to stock up on. I got tons of corn because that's something that we can always eat as like filler. Um, I got two different kinds of beans, some cheese sticks, some waffles. Um, I got some pizza rolls because Kai really loves these. Two loaves of bread. Um, some veggie straws, and I'll put one of these loaves of bread probably in the freezer just to save for in case of emergency. Um, veggie straws, because everyone loves these in my house. I got some baby Tylenol just in case, because I can use this for both Kingsley and Kai. Um, just in case, you never know when you need this, and I don't need to be needing it at a time when everyone's being quarantined or locked in their homes. I got us another cast iron pan, because our pots and pans that weren't cast iron chipped in the move, and um, it's actually really unsafe to use them. So I got us one of these. Um, we already have one, so now we have two. I love that. Some Ziploc bags. I got the gallon ones and the sandwich ones. I got these wooden spoons because I'm switching all of our utensils to wood and getting rid of all of our plastic ones because I don't like the way that they basically melt off in our food. So I'm going to throw all of those away and switch to these ones. I got some cereal for Kai. He loves Fruity Pebbles. I got some Lucky Charms. And then these were on sale. They were like two for five. So I got some organic um, Honey Nut Cheerios. I also got a tub of goldfish, some V8 juice. I got this seventh generation um, dish soap. I've never tried it, but it was all that they had. Everything is seriously gone. It's ridiculous. And then I got the Dove Baby um, wash that we've been using and loving, honestly. I also picked up this basket because um, it was only $5 and it's like super big, honestly. So I like it a lot. It's great. It matches everything. And I think I'm going to use it as his new toy basket because it's just a lot larger. Um, I got some Huggies diapers and some uh, Pampers baby wipes just because I was just trying to get whatever they had. I also got Kingsley and this new toy. So it's balls, blocks, and buddies. So it's super cute. The balls. The blocks and all the buddies, so and super adorable. Buddies. Yeah, they're squirty ones. Uh, and super cute. Like Maverick has this too, my other brother. Yeah, and then I got Malachi this toy, so it's like a little puzzle thing. It's kind of like a Rubik's cube, but different. I don't know. You have to like find the solution. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Also, as you guys saw from my video yesterday, um, I did get the new coffee pot. We have been wanting this coffee pot for months now. Um, literally months and months and months. I looked at it around Christmas time and it was actually a lot cheaper too. It was like 170, I think 175 at Christmas and we almost bought it, but we didn't because we wanted to just kind of spend our money on our family for Christmas. So we didn't get it. Um, but our coffee pot has literally like gone out on us. It's been broken for a long time. It takes over an hour to brew a full pot and it sucks. Um, so we did end up finally making the purchase yesterday. Um, and it wasn't as cheap. It was like $1.99 this time around. But I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Um, it has like the, you can make the regular K-cup coffee or you can make latte or cappuccinos by using like the shots and then frothing the milk. So I love it. It is so freaking 
beautiful too. And it's actually way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Like the display at the store looked a lot bigger. This is just my changing table that he doesn't use anymore. So I kind of purposed it into a coffee cart. I don't know if I'll keep it this way though. Um, I don't know if I might move this to that corner right here. Um, but obviously my life is just not organized yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet or I might move this against this wall. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just so happy about that purchase because we've been wanting it for so long and we have just been waiting so patiently to get a new, nicer coffee pot. And coffee is something that is very important. Like we drink it every single day. We never skip a morning of coffee. So it felt like something that was definitely worth the money because um, I'm not one to splurge at all. Like I pinch every penny. Um, so it was definitely very difficult to do. That's why it took us so long to buy it. But finally I was like, you know what? We deserve it. Let's just do it. Our coffee pot was so old anyway. So, okay. So really quick, I am not vlogging today, but I wanted to continue my video, um, and just show you guys like how I stocked up for, um, the case of an emergency. So my biggest deal is that I'm afraid we're going to have a lockdown, which means we wouldn't be able to leave our home for two weeks to a month or so, whatever it may be. So um, obviously we're gonna have things that we need for that time, um, like foods, diapers, things like that. So I just kinda wanna show you guys my stockpile. Okay, so it's all crammed in here, but I'm gonna try and quickly like go through and show you guys what I got. I also got some regular foods that we just typically like to eat, like a few waffles and things like that. These are like breakfast muffins. They're really good. But I stocked up on frozen veggies. So these edamames. Um, these are my meats. So I've got a bag of chicken. Um, another bag of chicken in here. These are chicken thighs, chicken tenders. I've got all of these red ones are chicken breasts that are separated already out into meals for my family. Um, I also have chicken drumsticks, so tons of meat. This is probably like, I don't know, half of a month, maybe a whole month's worth of dinner, like just for like the chicken. Um, I got some mini corn dogs and this is literally all frozen veggies and it goes all the way back. So there's, this is a seasoning blend in case just for like extra flavor, but it's onion, celery, peppers and stuff like that. I got edamames, I got mushrooms, I got spinach, I got asparagus. Um, this is my bacon. I got like two pounds of that. Beef, these are all beef separated out into meals. So this right here is one, two, three, four, five nights of beef, six, seven for turkey meat, uh, turkey beef. So that's another whole week's worth of um, meats for my family. I got chicken nuggets, an entire bag, and breaded chicken breasts back there. An entire bag of um, salmon fillets. So that's a whole nother like week's worth of meat. Same with that. That is probably another like two nights worth of meat for my family. So we're definitely stocked up for our meals. I got four bags of frozen burritos. These are just some leftover chicken patties. Two frozen loaves of bread regular pizza rolls. I got two um, packs of English muffins that are frozen. And then I have some frozen uh, bags of raspberries and strawberries behind that. So that's it for my freezer. Yeah, it hardly even closes. Going into my fridge, I didn't get a lot of refrigerated foods because they definitely perish a lot sooner. But I did stock up on these um, hot dogs just because we don't actually ever eat hot dogs. Ooh, there's like something stuck to it. Um, it's on the counter. We don't actually ever eat hot dogs, but, um, I just thought that they were cheap and they were good to stock up on just in case of an emergency so we don't run out of food. The only thing is that you keep them refrigerated and I don't know how fast they go bad. So hopefully not very fast because I might just freeze them. Doesn't really say, but I'll figure that out later. Um, and so nothing else in here is really like stocked up. It actually needs to be cleaned out. I did stock up, however, on shredded cheeses and tortillas so we can make things like quesadillas and burritos. Um, so yeah, I literally have three bags of tortillas because we are big tortilla eaters. Um, there's just some more chicken breast that I'm leaving out for the next few nights. Um, 
yeah, so that's kind of it for the fridge. Like I said, it didn't stock up too much in there because it goes bad quicker. Now for the pantry, I didn't crazy stock up on baby food because he can always eat our food too, but I did get him a couple of snacks. I stocked up on these. I don't actually feed him baby food like this, but I did stock up on, I think I got like 10 or 12 of them just so that way in case of emergency we run out of food he has things to eat um dinner sides i stocked up on dinner sides so that is all of this from here over is dinner sides i got rices noodles um more rice more noodles more pastas pastas mac and cheeses this is like an entire meal by itself you literally just cook it it's like all ready to go um, hamburger helper. These are almond milk, so I'm stocked up on milk, which we could probably use actually some more. Maybe I should get like two or maybe even four more. Um, I got oatmeals. I'm stocked up on formulas. More mac and cheeses. Saltine crackers. And down here, I'm stocked up on granola bars. I've got granola bars, um, more breakfast bars, granola bars, crackers, granola bars, applesauce, pop tarts, more granola bars, crackers. Um, I stocked up on chips too, so that way we have just plenty of things to like munch on, because obviously I have kids, they're gonna need munchies. Um, so these are Cheetos, Bugles, Ritz Krispies, some veggie chips, Doritos, and then animal crackers, and pretzels, goldfish, more applesauce, because this is easy for the baby to eat, more granola bars. So these are two more large boxes of granola bars, or these ones are actually protein bars. Um, more Ritz crackers, jar of peanut butter, extra coffee, canned food. These are all like soups, um, like SpaghettiOs and um, chicken noodle soup. I've got corn. I've got, these are canned chicken. So there's four cans of that. Some beans. Um, all my cereals. So I stocked up on those. I've got, um, these are just kind of flavored ones that Kai is eating now because he likes them, but I've got extra boxes of Cheerios and things like that. I've got water. I wanted to get more water, but they were completely out. So that's all I could get. I have canned fruit. So there's tons of peaches, tons of pears. I have pineapples back there. I've got canned sweet potatoes, more canned tuna, canned asparagus, canned zucchini, paper towels. I was not able to stock up on toilet paper because they were completely out. But so I also ended up getting um, this giant box of laundry detergent. This is the only thing that they had left. Like I'm not even kidding you. Everything was sold out. So this is like a powder and I hate the powders, but this is what I got just in case. And um, this, my mom actually ended up giving me this toilet paper because I couldn't find any. Um, but then I also got a jug of cheese balls because those are honestly delicious and we totally eat them. Like, honestly, if there is a lockdown, I think it's going to happen very soon, like within the next few days. And I think that it'll be a temporary thing. So hopefully that'll be enough. We also have tons of dehydrated food, at least a month's supplies worth of dehydrated food in case of a natural disaster or anything like that. So the only thing left is to stock up on dog food. I have not done that yet because my dog has to have a special kind of food. And since we moved... Um, they don't have the same stores here. It was like a little store that we used to get it from. So I have not been able to find it. So I haven't got that yet, but I do need to stock up on her food. Um, and then I got three boxes of diapers and an extra box of baby wipes as well. So that is everything that I got for my family. Um, I would love to hear what you're doing to prepare. Um, if you're worried, if you're concerned, what's been going on, let's communicate about this. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, it's like been a few days that this vlog has been going on. So, um, it's probably kind of like all over the place, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next one. Bye.